Isolation day 80, and it just keeps on coming. I hope you're well and looking after yourselves. Uh, it is Saturday the 6th of June, one day away from completing four weeks on the keto to plant-based whole food um, transition. So I'll give you a full overview tomorrow evening. It's been an interesting week this week, a bit more challenging because uh, I've had a few highs and I've had obviously a good number of lows. I want to show you that in a bit more detail tomorrow. Tonight, what I thought I would do is just revisit NutriCheck because I know that I spoke about the fact that I was using Chronometer and I'd subscribed to Chronometer for a year and it was great at tracking um, fat and proteins and nutrients and minerals. But what it wasn't good at, all of those things I was really pleased with. What, it, what I thought was the problem was carbs. And for someone who's type one, who and everything is reliant upon accurate carb checking, uh, I was a bit disappointed with that. Sorry, let me rephrase. I was concerned that it wasn't accurate. So I downloaded a couple of other programs and put in the same food. And the one I thought was the closest to where I felt comfortable was NutriCheck. And I will show you NutriCheck in a bit more detail and I'll show you why I like things and I don't like things about it. Here is NutriCheck, Sunday the 31st of May, so about a week ago. And this is the overview that you get. And you can see on here, this is a breakdown of breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks and exercise. Look, I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that approach. Gives you serving sizes. The real strength of this is the fact that when you're looking for food, it will bring up exactly the type of food. You can see here, KTC red kidney beans. What you have here is uh, an exact copy of ingredients and the information, and it's really accurate with carbs. And this is the carb column, okay? Let me blow this up a little bit. So this is the carbohydrate column. And for a meal, it will give you subtotals. It will also show you fats, it will also show you protein. So for a day, you will get your over, overall sort of analysis. This program is primarily set up for losing weight. It's not set up for tracking the nutrient and mineral content of everything that you're eating, which is fine to a certain extent. But look, I am much more comfortable with carbohydrates. You can see here breakfast 51.3 chronometer the same day breakfast 59 what is there 12 percent difference there that's that's significant that's significant enough and the beauty of so let's go back to here the issue i've got with this is this is great as a standalone but when you start looking at the weeks you know it's looking at calories eaten calories burnt for obvious reasons it's neutral check it's 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 checking what you're actually using i you know you can track your reports but it's not, it's not very user friendly. I don't find this very intuitive, let's put it that way. So I only use this program for carb tracking. But the problem I've got is, I don't really want to be putting all of my information into two different programs. So I've got to find a kind of happy medium, which at the moment I haven't really found. So chronometer on the 31st of May, you can see I can put in vitamins, I can put in the water, and the beauty of this program is, it will give you all of the breakdown of vitamin usage, all of the breakdown of minerals. It's quite easy and it's very, it's very visual, which is nice to see. It's helpful to me. At the moment, this is more useful for protein, for fat. It's as useful for fat, but the, what I quite like is the analysis here, which is the daily analysis of um, how much fat you've, you've got. That is the difference between the two programs. And I'm hoping that you can understand why I'm using carbs. Let's take dinner as an example, 30 grams of carbs under, um, under NutriCheck. And you can see old El Paso black beans, KC, KTC plum tomatoes, KTC chickpeas, Sainsbury's organic cannellini beans, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Sainsbury's. All of that information is accurate because it's from the back of that packaging. Whereas chronometer, does have KTC, does have El Paso, does have Sainsbury's at times. But what we have is 30 grams, 53 grams. 
That's a big difference, isn't it? This is the problem that I've got. I wasn't happy with 53 grams. And to me, after 35 years of, of sort of counting carbs, I knew that was too heavy from day one, really. That's why I've moved. I hope that explains it well enough and justifies exactly why I've got a bit of an issue here. Uh, how I get over that is, I guess that's my problem. But uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking of using chronometer, just be very careful with the carb counting, okay? If uh, for those of you that are type two, I'm sure that uh, chronometer will serve your purpose no, with no problems whatsoever. Uh, what I would say is um, NutriCheck is better at carbs without a shadow of a doubt. I hope that gives you a good overview. I will leave it there tonight. Tomorrow, I will give you a full overview of four weeks transition. Okay, I'm quite looking forward to doing this um, and giving you a bit more of an explanation of where of how this final week has gone or how this last week has gone. Look after yourselves. I'll catch up with you tomorrow.